Welcome to a tutorial on how to set up a dual boot XP Invista system by WordX8. Setting up dual boot for your computer is quite simple. And there's basically two ways to do it. You can put both operating systems on a single hard drive, or you can put them both on two separate hard drives. I'll show you how to do both. And just click start. Right click computer and hit manage. Under storage it says disk management. And this is a list of your hard drives. In my case, I have two hard drives, and on one is XP, and on one is just Vista. I haven't set up Linux yet. And so this tutorial will basically show you how to set up XP and Vista. And there are two ways to do it. You can install them both, hard, both uh, system operating systems on one hard drive, or both of them on different hard drives. And what you want to do first is, in this case, disk zero is the primary hard drive. This is what I'm running the computer off of. Um, and so, for instance, I installed XP on it, and the first, the first operating system you want to install will be the earlier one. So in this case, XP and then Vista, because in for Windows's case, their boot selection is a lot better on the earlier ones, and the operating system you always install a second will override the first one, and obviously you want a better boot selection menu. So in my case. I set up this, I installed XP to my first hard drive, then what I did is I removed this hard drive, and I installed it on the second hard drive, and what I did is I chose, I partitioned this hard drive, and I chose where I would want to put it during the install. That's one way you can do it. And then when you start your computer up with XP, you can run it on XP or Vista, either hard drive as the primary, in this case I'm running it off of XP and you'll have a boot menu and you can choose which one you would, would like to run. When you're setting it up, if you have Vista, it will display the earliest one you have. So for instance, for the boot menu, we'll have an option for boot using Vista or an earlier version of Windows, which in that case would be XP. And that is how you can set up for two different hard drives. But either way, if you're going to set up a dual boot, you're going to need two hard drives to do it very easily. Another way you can do it is you need a primary hard drive right here and install any operating system on it and you need to go into computer management. I have another tutorial on this. It's called partitioning how to partition a hard drive and you might want to see this to better understand this. What basically you need to do is when the uh, secondary hard drive is clean, there's no data on it, you need to right click and you need to choose uh, create a partition or partition this hard drive and you need to create two partitions and you need to type in the amount of space you want to use, so in this case 150 gigs basically, and then the rest, which is about 80, so I have 150 and an 80 gig partition. These two, these are actually two, but they show, these are, this is actually one partition, but they show up as two. And then when you're installing it, you would take out this hard drive, and you'd have the partition hard drive that uses two partitions, and you'd install XP on one and then Vista on the other. And that's basically it. When you start up the computer, it run and you can choose which one you would new, which one you would want to run it off of. I plan on making more computer related videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about a specific topic, please send me a message via YouTube. If I feel that it's a good topic, then I'll make a video on it and post it. Please rate and comment this video. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel. I may make more videos in the future that you may like. My YouTube account is youtube.com slash x 8 My River account is river.com slash u slash x 8 Thanks for watching. If you want to get the embed code to my video, then go to the right hand side of my video and click more. And then at the bottom of it, it'll say embed code can be found at and click the link. This should bring you to my the same video at my River account and the embed code can be found right at the right side. And you can just copy this, copy into your website or wherever else you want it.